there in the clouds. Is it a really fast bird? Is it a small rocket? It's amazing, kid. simple looking house lives a hero and deep down below the surface in a secret underground compound the incredible amazing kid is training to do battle with the evil professor nasty a bad guy so bad that that well let's just say he's really bad All right, amazing kid. If you are ready, I will run Professor Nasty simulation number one. This is one of the things you might encounter at his somewhat secret hideout. Be prepared for anything. Not to worry, if the floor creatures try to bite you, remember he's not real. It's only there to scare the freckles off of you. Excellent, amazing kid. Oh, it sounds like the press conference is about to start. We interrupt this program with a special news bulletin. Hello, everybody. This is Roger Wilco. I'm outside the World Space Center, where at any moment, General Liftoff is going to speak about today's important interstellar space mission to a newly discovered planet just outside our solar system. And I do believe the General is ready. Today is an historical day. We will be traveling to the planet Tweezelbop, where we hope to make first contact with its people. For such an important mission, we will be sending only the best. Commander Amazing is set to blast off from Space Station 1 in 1600 hours this evening. If all goes well, the Earth will have new friends by tomorrow. Well, Amazing Kid, we will have to deal with Professor Nasty later. For now, we need to get you suited up and on to Space Station 1. Space Station 1, a science marvel built as a stepping stone to reach other planets. In the laboratory on Space Station 1 is Mission Control, where General Liftoff prepares your ship to blast off to Planet Weaselbob. Attention! All right, Corporal Countdown. What is our status? Precisely where is Captain Amazing? And how much longer until we get this show on the road? We are ready on the launch pad, sir. Captain Amazing is just on the way to Medical Bay 21A for the doctor's okay. Mm. Everything's a go. All the computers are online. We have a full reading on all the tanks. Ready to turn on the launch lights. Here we go. Captain Amazing, if you are ready, give us the sign. Releasing the gravity hold downs. The ship is lifting off in T minus four one thousand, three one thousand, two one thousand, one one thousand, zero. Engage thrusters. Okay, it's smooth sailing past the moon. Ah, doesn't the 
Earth look like a big blue marble? It's so pretty from outer space. Yeah. We are ready for cyber light speed. Commander Amazing, engage the molecular collider to boost you past infinity and beyond. <gasps> Particle transmit energizing! There is the planet Dweezelbop! Land in Area 51 and beam yourself onto the surface! Now locate the head weasel and introduce yourself as a friend. from a sound sleep. How dare the planet Earth send a kid to our world at this hour? I don't want to deal with humans and all their emotions. I know only one emotion, and that is anger. I will throw these buckets of sticky, gooey, flannel sub gum on that human, and that will show them not to bother with us Tweezelarians. Friends, Romans, my fellow Tweezelarians, I need you to understand that we are not ready at this time to accept any outsiders. We must make the humans aware that we cannot allow them to interfere with our way of life. Tiny humans, we do not want you here on Tweezelbot. You have wasted your time. Please go away. As the president prepares to coach you with the goo, you realize his plan, and in a split second, you transform yourself into the incredible, amazing kid! Protecting yourself with a force field and throwing the evil, angry president down the royal drain! Wanting to get off the planet as fast as you can, you blast off like a rocket and start flying home! Incredible, amazing kid, come in. I have just triangulated the satellites and have located Professor Nasty's secret hideout. Earth never looked so good as you flew home. You prepared yourself to battle your arch nemesis, Professor Nasty. He lives in a scary house, in a scary location that only a few people really know about. What can I do for fun today? What can I break or ruin? 
I want to upset as many people as I can. Every time I come up with a diabolical plan, that incredible amazing kid is always there to stop me. Well, not this time. I think I'll send one of my men to knock on doors and run away. Hello, Moose. Nasty here. I want you to go to the neighborhood and start knocking and running. Yeah, it'll be great. Okay, I'm ready for knocking time. Listen, Big Mo, Moose was a failure. I need you to do an even more evil act. I need you to get everyone upset at the airport by stealing all the peanuts from all the flights. Yes, I think that would be fun. Go ahead. attention that will surely make them upset hello Rocco nasty here I need you and your big ray gun to set up at the North Pole right away I'll tell you more when you get there okay this will be great so Rocco set up his giant ice melting apparatus he was going to make professor nasty proud but little did he know that the incredible amazing kid was already onto his plan Position to 
foil his evil deed. You got yourself in between the ray gun and the ice and blocked it with your force field. Now all you have to do is freeze, Rocco, until the police can pick him up. Great job, incredible, amazing kid! In today's news, the incredible, amazing kid has stopped Professor Nasty's henchmen from wreaking havoc. Oh, it seems I can never have any fun! No, not anymore. This kid is ruining all my evil ideas! Can you hear me, amazing kid? I have just triangulated the satellites and have located Professor Nasty's secret hideout. No, no, come on, there's never anything on, even with 255,000 satellite channels! Oh, Nog, 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 please stick to the subject at hand and continue about Amazing! Oh yeah, Amazing landed on our planet's surface and beamed down to the ground, then started bouncing around like popcorn as there was very little gravity. And humans, they need gravity so they don't fly off the planet's surface and into space and stuff. Today's the day for the Captain Amazing statue to be unveiled. Thousands are expected to attend this incredible event. Hey kids, come on down to Toyland! You know you never get to see Captain Amazing, but now you can every day with the new Captain Amazing action figure. An action figure so advanced, so cutting edge, so high tech, so innovative, that NASA has requested its help in advancing space travel and quantum physics. But you can have yours today with movable arms, legs, and torso. This action figure will bring you hours of fun and enjoyment. I'm sure you will even meet new kids and everyone will play together with their Captain Amazing toys. Fun for everyone. A toy that's out of this world. Get yours today. Spaceship Soul Supper. <laughs> So you disable him like you did to the rest of his gang! And you know where Professor Nasty is going to end up! sometime and we will meet again! I promise you we will meet again! And the whole city threw a ticker tape parade in your honor! We are all thankful for you, incredible, amazing kid! excited to be part of this DVD. Yes, as am I. We felt very privileged to be at just the time when we first met Commander Amazing. Yep. I remember when Amazing was little. So cute, just an adorable baby. Wow. 
Wait, you didn't know Amazing is a baby? You only met humans for the first time two years ago. Stop all your exaggerations and tell the story right, or I'll tell it, and you won't get two words in the DVD at all. No, 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 wait. Okay, I'm sorry. I was just trying to make it interesting. Okay, here's how it really happened. Well, Commander Amazing flew up to our planet in a really poorly built spaceship. Oh, I have no idea how that beast was airworthy. You know, Anakin can really build a good quality spaceship. He was trained at the Spaceship Building Academy on Strontic 5. Why, they... Oh, Nog, 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 please stick to the subject at hand and continue about Amazing. Oh, I'm sorry. Amazing landed on our planet's surface and beamed down to the ground, then started bouncing around like popcorn as there was very little gravity. And humans, they need gravity so they don't fly off the planet's surface and into space and stuff. We Toonians here on Planet Toon, we have special gravity control sacks in our legs, and we don't need anything to keep there us on the go ground. There you go again! Can you please stick to the story? If you stray from the story about how we met Amazing one more time, I will take over completely! Sorry, sorry, sorry! I apologize! Sometimes my ADD kicks in. You know, Alien discusses the wrong thing. You said it! So Commander Amazing bounces all over the planet, and I decide to zap Commander Amazing with my ray gun. You know, just to see what will happen. I didn't expect... Yup! When the ray mixed with the red blood cells, boom! the highlight of my 400 plus years. It was mine too, and thanks for watching. Come back soon, although I'm sure I'll say the exact same thing every time you watch this DVD. I'll go off on other subjects and not focus. That's enough, now say goodbye. All right, goodbye.